Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and well, today I'm going to talk about the movie Shazam. I'm going to do a review on it. I just saw the movie like last weekend. I thought the movie was really good. I really enjoyed the movie. Now, uh, when I was a kid in the 70s, they had a TV program on Saturday mornings. It was a live action uh, superhero show called Captain Marvel, which is actually now the character Shazam. Captain Marvel we see in the other movie is a totally different Captain Marvel. Because of copyrights and trademarks, they had to change the name of the character to Shazam. And uh, Shazam is actually the word that the, uh, uh, the, the teenager uh, Billy Bateson says to become Captain Marvel. Now, all through the movie, one thing that I really enjoy through the movie is they kind of make fun of the fact uh, of the name of the character. And... In fact, Freddie, who's Billy Bateson's stepbrother, keeps on making up names for for him, and some of which are totally ridiculous. But but it is very funny when they're doing that, and they never actually uh, call him Shazam in the movie. They never come up with the name Shazam for him. They keep on changing uh, the names, and some of them are so ridiculous that that even uh, Billy Bateson kind of protests and says, "No, that's not my name." Because Freddie keeps on telling people what his name is, and he's trying out new names on him constantly. So that's one of the kind of running gags in there that is kind of enjoyable, particularly if you're kind of savvy to the, uh, uh, I guess, controversy over the fact that this character was the original Captain Marvel, and Marvel Comics made it a different one, and so they lost the name to this character, and the character's name changed. So there's a lot of nostalgia to that, but the the whole thing is is great. They use it as a um, they use Shazam as a uh, device, kind of to kind of make fun of other superheroes. Because the first thing that happens is he gets the power to become Shazam, and uh, Freddy, his stepbrother, is trying to help him figure out what powers he has. So he doesn't even know what powers he has initially. So uh, the first part of the movie is him trying to figure out what powers he has and everything. And the second part of the movie, he, he runs into the supervillain. And when he runs into the supervillain, he's like, well, you're the supervillain, aren't you? So the, the movie is very entertaining. And it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very comical. But I think it really kind of keeps with the, the original kind of, uh, I don't know if you want to say flavor or or character of the original comic strip. Uh, and so it keeps that, but it, it's a lot of fun. So if you're really into comic book characters, this is a very interesting kind of character to kind of get into and research and watch the movie. If you're not so much into comic book characters, it's still a really entertaining movie because it is, uh, it pokes a lot of fun at the entire genre. Anyway, I highly recommend it. And uh, enjoyed the movie quite a bit. And uh, I even thought the plot was pretty good in it. I'm a good dark manner. And whatever you do, enjoy the day. Go out and go out and watch the Zam. Have a, have, just have a great day. I'll see you soon.